treat. I think as immunotherapy is becoming a, a treatment for so many different cancers, it's now FDA approved in nine different cancer types. It becomes very important to educate not just providers, but also patients and their caregivers about what to look out for for potential side effects. I think on one hand, while we are uh, very concerned about some of the side effects that can occur in general, immunotherapy is much more tolerable treatment compared to other traditional cancer therapies. In general, the overall incidence of side effects from these agents is around 5 to 10 percent, whereas uh, chemotherapy and other traditional cancer agents, uh, it's decimals above that, uh, two to three times more um, incidence of side effects with these agents as opposed to immunotherapy. Um, so in, in general, we're very reassured by that and patients should be reassured by that. However, when I speak to a patient, I would usually say I separate the side effects into generalized side effects or immune-related side effects which are directly as a result of the immune-stimulating abilities of the treatment.